What's up everybody and welcome back to the Cool Fears channel and today I have for you guys the McFarlane DC Multiverse McFarlane Batman. But first, if you're new then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures. Analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course playing with them. I upload new content every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Check back on those days to see what I've uploaded or just hit that bell icon to stay notified when I do upload new content. And guys, I have a lot of content coming up for you guys. DC week, Halo week, Star Wars week, a lot coming up. So you're gonna wanna stay notified. But if you guys do enjoy this video or any of my other videos, please remember to give them a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, guys. It is a very small little mind. Try to reach at least one new subscriber per new video that I put out. So please be my one new subscriber for this video. Thank you so much in advance. As always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magic Girl, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And once again, guys, I have for you the DC Multiverse McFarlane Batman. Not the gold label, but the regular uh, version. And this is a super special uh, video, uh, guys. If you're watching this on Monday, April 26th, it is in fact my 24th birthday. Um, so I am super excited and super happy about that. I am going to be spending the day at Universal later on today. But before I did that, I had to make sure I got a review out for you guys because I absolutely love doing this. And I wanted to say thank you so much for 250 subscribers, guys. That is a lot of subscribers for me. I really do appreciate it. And let's try to make it to 300 by the end of May if we can. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get right on into this. And let's start with the accessories that he comes with. And of course, he comes with a trading card. And this is the same trading card that came with the gold label Batman, uh, McFarlane Batman. So if you have the gold label Batman, this is the same trading card as that one. Um, essentially, this is just the same figure. The only difference is the weapons and the coloring. And of course, he also comes with a DC stand right here. So, when it comes to the weapons, the gold label Batman only came with two gold daggers and a set of goggles. This Batman, however, comes with two daggers, but different daggers and a battering right here. Um, which I feel could have basically fit the, the gold version as well instead of giving him those weird goggles Which I have to admit have grown on me and I do display him with them on now, but um, You know this could have been a part of that Batman as well, but uh, that's neither here nor there and Second off he comes with a pair Let me see if I Just pull it out Sorry guys, it was really stuck in there Okay, so he comes with a pair of these blades. As you can see, they're jagged on the towards the end right there, and they kind of resemble a bat in a way, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, and it also has like these little spikes on the knuckle grips. And honestly, guys, the spikes on this Batman are super sharp. They're a little bendy and stuff, but they're hard enough to where when you're trying to pose them, you do stab yourself a bit, so be super careful with that. But like I said, he does come with the, these two weapons. As you can see, they are made of a soft plastic because it is bending, because I did have this one in the holster. It's not a full sheath, it's just kind of like a holster to hold them on his back. Uh, very similar, or not very similar, but exactly the same as the gold label Batman. But with that being said, guys, that is all the accessories he comes with. So pulling him forward, you can see he is an exact replica of the gold label Batman, obviously the same sculpt and whatnot, uh, just different colors. Uh, and honestly, I have to say, I really dig this one. That's why I went ahead and got it. Uh, but I have to have the worst luck with these McFarlane Batman figures because if you've seen my review for the first one, you've seen all the QC issues that that one came with. And now this one for me, um, oh man, guys, like I said, it's not a cool fears ch uh, channel video if I don't knock the camera. This leg just pops right off constantly whenever I'm posing him. And I took a closer look and the joint is actually cracked. So yeah, that's just my luck with these McFarlane Batman figures. I just happen to keep getting the ones that have QC issues. Um, but I have been seeing him more and more in different targets. So he's not as hard to come by as that gold label Batman. Um, so I may end up picking up another one uh, depending on how I feel. Uh, because like I said this one does have a crack joint and I just don't want in the future for that to become a real big problem uh, and honestly after this I'm probably gonna have to just you know keep them posed and display and not really use them for too much toy photography uh, because I don't want to mess with that leg and that joint too much 
But yeah, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation of this figure. So, moving his arms down, he can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. He can look that far down, look that far up. His arms go all the way out. You do get bicep rotation as well as shoulder rotation right there and a butterfly joint in there. You do get double hinged elbow joints, but it gets kind of stuck. But as you can see, one, two. And then let me just take this dagger out of his hand. It's just flailing around. You do get this, you know, the odd weird McFarlane ball joint wrist right there. I still th really hate that. It just sticks out so much. Um, but it works really well in general, like I have to admit. Um, and I have to admit, guys, Mezco toys are really turning me off of these McFarlane DC multiverse figures only because they're just so well done. And I understand they're not affordable for everybody, and these are. Um, but you may just see me collect less of these now because I am really happy with the Mezcos that I've collected. And um, you'll see during DC week a few of the new ones that I've gotten. He does have ab twist right there. He doesn't have too much ab crunch down or back. Um, we're going to look at this leg since the other one's the one that's messed up. He can kick out that far forward. He can kick far that far back. He does come with double hinge knees. Oh, I just pinched my finger on that one. Um, he does come with articulated ankle, but it only goes down that far and it goes up that far because it gets caught with the shin guard. But you do also get the toe articulation right there as well as ball rocker. Unfortunately, no thigh swivel since this is based off the old sculpt of the McFarlane Gold Label Batman. Um, if you saw my review of the new uh, McFarlane DC Multiverse Dark Knight's Metal Batman, uh, you would see that I think they're starting to give these characters uh, thigh swivels because that one came with a thigh swivel, unless that's only because he's meant to sit on the, the motorcycle, then that would make more sense. But I'm really hoping McFarlane is, you know, adding more thigh swivel or adding a thigh swivel to their future uh, characters and figures. It would really help out a lot in the posing and everything. Uh, but yeah, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some cool pics of this guy and we'll be right back. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And if you stuck to the end of this video, type in the comments down below 24. But if you did enjoy this video or any of my other videos, please remember to give them a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, guys. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magerall, aka the Buff Collector, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.